Hi, so I don't know about like faithfulness and like relationships. I'm not sure what my take is on that. Like I can uh, cause it's like I can understand where a person comes from when they're talking about like the person doesn't give them something or something like like they're lacking something and they want something from that person and like they aren't getting that so they cheat or they like do stuff that's not that wouldn't be acceptable in the other person's eye because I know what it uh, what it feels like to want something but you're not really getting that from that person so you go out and seek for or you long for something that you're lacking like, that's any person like that's why I would get into a relationship yeah I get into relationships because I'm like what do you have to benefit me you know what I'm saying like what can you do for me that no one else can and even if a person does something that no one else can what is it that I want like you know like what is it that you want in a relationship you know like and a lot of times 90% of the time like someone's lacking something like a lot of my relationships where you know there was something missing from it like let's say a person may be good with communicating and good with I don't know like just making sure that they do what there is that they need to do but they can also like lack certain things like good at communicating not so good at satisfying your needs that don't consist of communication that consists of being quiet that consists of listening to little things like you know what I'm saying like people may be good at communicating feelings and not communicating the issues that they have with you mm. it's sometimes it's a problem I think a person may be good at you know what they do what they're doing for themselves and then you're stuck like, well, what are you doing for me? Like, well, how are you benefiting me out this? And, like, you don't know. And then it's like, damn. Like, I'm just happy for you doing what you need to be doing for yourself. But at the end of the day, if we're in a relationship, I need something for me, too. And, like, sometimes I feel like that good laughter I can get laughter from anywhere anything makes me laugh have a good sense of humor good I can detect but like I don't know like, you'd be a good person but you're not but maybe you're not good for me like maybe you're not what I need that's what sometimes I think in a lot of my relationships I've, I've thought this and I think and I know a lot of people think that too like that like, I don't know, like, maybe it's like a look for them, or it's all American story, so they go with that, like, I don't know. But what do you want from your boyfriend? What do you want from your girlfriend? Like, what? And if they can't give it to you, what do you do? Like, you feel like, what if you, like, aren't comfortable with, like, breaking up with a person? How do you, how do you do? Like, how do you do? Do you cheat on them? Do you tell them continuously? Do you put your needs aside and work with what they need? So that means that if you were to do that, then that means your relationship is unbalanced. <laughs> like I want a relationship where it requires 50-50. But sometimes, like you say, I don't know if I can... Like, sometimes it's not 50-50. It's, not like it's never... 50-50. But cheating, I don't know. I don't think you should necessarily cheat. 
If she is not good, I feel like if you are going to cheat on your significant other, <laughs> you don't need to be with them because you are faithful to a person and you're committed to a person because they give you all the needs that you desire. That's it. And if a person is to cheat, then that means they're lacking something. Most of the time. Some people just want, people just don't care enough to get to know a person and realize what that person is actually good for. Like, how that person would benefit them. They just stick to the old them and everybody's a certain way in their mind and then it messes up a lot of their relationships. But sometimes they don't really care. That's not necessarily good. Like if you can't, if you aren't getting all the things that you need in a relationship, you should not be in a relationship. Like I don't like being in relationships where I have to ask for stuff continuously. It just makes me want to like fucking choke somebody. It makes me want to like smack someone so hard, like just smack them. And if I am not what a person is completely satisfied with, then do not be with me, please let me know. I not want to be listening to you bullshit and cry and talk and like, ugh, annoy me. That's not what I'm interested in. I really prefer to like know if I'm doing my job as a girlfriend, like in any situation. If I'm not, please let me know. There's a lot of times I feel like I say what I want in my relationship now, and he's not really saying things that he doesn't like or things that he wants. It kind of like irritates me because like I know I'm not perfect. And, you know, you're helping me out until I say something like I don't want to call you. Like I guess maybe because you want to avoid confrontation, but that's not life. Life, you can have confrontation. That's gonna happen. But I don't know. It's just about communication either, especially if it's like at a distance. So cheating, I don't agree with, especially if it's for no reason. And if you are going to cheat, and if you know you're not satisfied, then then you kind of like need to be single or find, be single and then find out what you want to do. You know what I'm Sorry, I'm like writing something. But I don't know. I don't agree really with cheating. I agree with you. People who aren't satisfied and you, you know, to express this, and, but you want to do what you need to do to make that relationship last. But if you can't make a last, then there's no point of being in it. That's not. This is not what you need to do. Not for you. <sighs> it's hard because I like want so much more than this, and I'm trying hard to like work with it. But then I see, I see like, I'm getting what I want from other type of relationships, but like not like that, like friendships, and I want that so bad, so I surround myself around that, but it doesn't really, it's not really a good thing, I'm not telling my boyfriend this, but hopefully like, it kind of, it works out the way it needs to. Because I don't want to see myself depending on something else. I'm supposed to be depending on my boyfriend. Like, I don't want that. But I'm human. 
have once. And people satisfy that, then they satisfy it. I can't really do anything. I can't do too much about that. But I know that a lot of people who cheat are doing stuff because they're not satisfied. And I just don't want to be that type of per- I don't want to be that person. I, mean, I just feel like I should not do that. Unless I got worried about my interests. And I don't understand that. It's not easy. And that he really, really needs to like, do a little better. I think I see that he is, but I just want to make sure that he is. I don't want to think that he is. And the end become upset to the outcome. I don't know, so if you want to break up. And when you break up, explain. If you want to work it out, work it out. But that's pretty much what I can say. I just know I wanted to say something. I don't think that is what came to mind. So until next time. Guys. Have a good one. Uh, if something doesn't make you happy, remember it's not doing anything for you. Let it go. And if you can't figure out how a person benefits you, you don't need them there. You don't need them in your life. Remember that?